Remember Dream's sudden face reveal how it exploded the internet for days, news stations making articles about it and so forth? But it also drew a lot of negativity all across the internet, insulting his face or even coming up with fake allegations about him. Why did all of this hatred come all at once just from his face alone? Well to simplify it, he's popular. But still not the answer since another YouTuber the same size could just face reveal and be bought with love and support. But why have all YouTubers dream get so much animosity just from his face? This video will look into 3 factors to Dream's hate mob around him, the people bullying him, him himself and his fans. Let's start with the people bullying him. Sure, giving out your opinion on someone's appearance is nothing new nowadays, but why is it such in a large and dedicated amount? Well we have to take bits off the other later factors. First is that Dream's fans overly exaggerate Dream's face. Some of his deranged followers view him as this blonde divine saint who is actually just some normal guy. But also some of the haters too over exaggerate Dream's entire body physique as being some kind of typical fat gamer body. The stereotype of all gamers are fat is present here since Dream is a gaming channel thus if you have a very imaginative identity under you, anyone can make their assumption about what you look like anytime. But also over exaggerating is the actual amount of obsessed Dream fans are there to the point that the amount of Dream haters actually exceed the people actually obsessed with him. Some of these deranged haters joke or even believe that all Dream fans are creepy obsessed minors with parasocial issues when they're just proud and happy to be a fan of Dream in their community. Twitter is a good factor on why people over exaggerate the whole taboo of Dream stance since in Twitter, if you disagree with one's message and want to give out your thoughts about it, you have to write a retweet thus your tweet being a part of your account page plus spreading the message overall. As well as screenshots or even inspected shit posts making the 1% glow while the other more nicer users are left to be assumed as the 1%. There's been cases of users actually harassing and making fun of other users just because they are a fan of Dream. No NSFW fan art, no Dream photo picture, just a simple message can take those users off. And again, these haters are not the same as people who do not like Dream, or don't watch Dream, or don't know about Dream. They can give their own reasonings on why they don't like Dream, maybe they just don't like his content or his personality. But please remember that the channel brand name Dream is separate to the actual person behind this YouTube channel. A good example is Technoblade who was seen as a bloodthirsty holy warrior on screen, especially on the Dream SMP, when he's just a normal guy. I made videos about him and introduced him plenty of times and you probably already know him, but I'll give a short rundown. Dream is a Minecraft YouTuber who specializes on extreme stunts and challenges and intense videography. He got more popular when he created a YouTube exclusive SMP named after him where they specialize on roleplaying and creating a high engaging story and interesting characters. The negativity around him truly grew when he was exposed cheating on a speedrun after a staff in a very popular speedrun site made this video about the speedrun on how it's extremely improbable and most definitely used third party engineering to rig the speedrun. Dream then creates a response video where he hired an actual professional debunking the claims and with his fans just mass attacking the person behind the exposition, greatly reduced Dream's credibility as a whole. What also helped fuel this hate mob is Dream's excessive fights against users in Twitter over the littlest thing. He even says himself that he often fights Twitter users. Let's keep in mind that Dream's rise to stardom was nothing but fast. Thus Dream not being able to handle all of this new audience and criticism and not have any prior experience to learn about the matter. Another tiny nitpick was when Dream released his first line of merch. I made a video about it and not a lot of people were happy about the blink design equivalent to its price point. And there's probably more reasonings why people hate Dream over the tiniest reasonings. But it's a given that Dream isn't entirely hated on, it's just a popular thing to do. With Dream being a very popular and somewhat controversial figure, his name is obviously popular as well videos about or somewhat related to Dream tend to get better views due to the dedicated love and hate mob around Dream. Commentary videos are prime examples of forming hate mobs since most of the time, commentary videos are often about someone negatively. So most of this time, these commentary YouTubers or even any YouTuber talking about Dream, there's some probability that they really couldn't give a shit about the whole topic but still wanted to cover it because it's popular and generates them a lot of views. Thus, there's also a chance that a huge percentage of dream haters are just doing it so because they think it's cool. 
Dream fans are definitely the butt of the joke for Slan doing Dream. The whole stereotype of an obsessed 14 year old girl listening to Forbes on Spotify 24 7 have a dream not found poster and watches 6 Twitch streams of the same server all at once and overly sensitive. Well, it was reasonable to think that since in 2020 we all stayed indoors for years, so we at least got something to be attached to, related to politics, entertainment, or whatnot. But nonetheless, this stereotype is like all the stereotypes, overly exaggerated, too fast up assuming, and probably only true for a decimal percentage of users. There's always been images of tweets of obnoxious tweets from dream stands being overly toxic to others. But how do we not know that these are inspected? Remember, the point I made in the video earlier, how tweets Twitter is engineered to spread controversial tweets more than like tweets. Well sure some of these fans are cringy and annoying, there is always a probability but does harassing and attacking people for being dream fans contradict their hatred against this whole stigma? Is this just hypocrisy itself? Well whatever you look at it, it is. His fans are basically like any bad skin community, you know, K-pop, Genshin Impact, Fortnite, jokes about how K-pop fans are psychopaths, Genshin Impact players being pedos, or, or Fortnite players all being the age of 9. But are again, a kind of stereotype and not even part of a huge percentage of those fan bases. A personal example, I've seen videos from a YouTuber named Tumad where he got death threats and false reported for joking or even mentioning BTS. But again, with Twitter engineered to promote toxic behavior, it really shows a negative look for the community. But in my case, since the last months, I've been going to school and I've met a few quite large amount of K-pop stands, you know, making keychains of K-pop musicians, talking about K-pop all the time with their fans. But they're just normal people. We all can obviously get obsessed with some things in our lives. Why some the people expressive in their interests and, and they just don't talk or watch about K-pop all the time? They obviously have a social life, different ambitions and goals in life like a normal person. Not some weird psychotic son who has millions of posters. Please remember that I am not some kind of professional in this kind of matter so don't take my word in face value. This is all just my perspective opinions based on my experience and knowledge. With Twitter engine engineered to promote toxic behavior, it also comes with people that just want to hate on things. Either it is fun for them to argue or make fun of people or they just hate the whole thing in general. They are really outgoing just to ruin their days. And again, these communities obviously didn't do anything wrong, it's just that they enjoy something that they don't enjoy. And another part is that people just want to fit in. If they want to be a part of some community and they're hating on another community, is it not repulsive to hate the other community just to fit in? I want to put this just for the people who, again, misunderstand the point of the video. My problem is people attacking not just innocent Dream fans or Dream himself, or people who don't like Dream but the whole hypocrisy of bullying someone because they bully others only for promoting this unhealthy behavior. The whole harassment of both parties has no legitimate criticism, it is just either you like or dislike Dream thus you get harassed. And again, I do not enjoy Dream's content nor support the whole hate mob. I personally think that hating Dream just because it is cool or without a good reason is idiotic and dumb overall. Dream is certainly a special figure in the internet. He has witnessed the most fastest he has gone through fandom, nothing ever seen before. And with 2020 being a big factor in Dream's growth and it being a really huge pandemic, we might not even see something like this in years or even forever.